gone through a little bit of a shooting slump, has had games where he's shot over 75%, but, but they need his consistency there as Mitchell hits a three. He's really found some confidence in his shot, and that's something that really has helped the Eagles. Kind of the next step, Hamilton, three-pointer good, and the Eagles have two from the outside. Really struggled shooting the ball from behind the arc. They were shooting close to 30%, but in that game versus Notre Dame on Saturday, they shot close to 60% in that first half as Rizzuto hits one. Important to have Jarius Hamilton back and playing well for Boston College, the former four-star recruit coming in last year. And there is Amon Clark getting to the bucket for the first basket of the game for you, Albany. Ability to have that confidence in that three-point shot is going to be crucial for the Eagles. And then Clark on the opposite end, just taking advantage. Already got to the line a lot earlier than they did against Notre Dame. And the third time since 1996, the Eagles with just four free throw attempts for the game. Inside, left hand is good. Brent Hank. Four threes against DePaul. He's proven that he can come off the bench and make some shots from the outside. Bucket good to answer. Ahmad Clark. Coach Will Brown talked about that they have struggled from the three-point line as of late. Need a little bit more consistency on that end from the point guard. Malachi D'Souza came back against Bucknell for the first time in a while is in. Here's Hamilton with the steal and the finish. New Albany's four turnovers, and that's something that really was an effective stat off of those four losses that they had. They only had 10 points of off their opponent's turnovers, whereas their first four games, they had over 21 points. Along with some of the scoring of late that you just saw. Three-pointer, good! Ooh. Antonio Rizzuto has two from the outside. Most three-point attempts and made, and that was led by their now sophomore class. Yeah, no doubt. And for an Albany team that struggled to find points, the great equalizer Ooh. as Felder with a nice take to the bucket. Mid-major versus ACC, as Coach Brown said, the great equalizer is the three-point yeah. shot. And he knew they would not be able to stay in this game if... Wow. Still trying to just get that consistency back. With the quarters, we see the first double team. Hey, why not us? Why not have the ceiling? Everybody else is going for it and try to put the pieces together from there. They got a steal and Hamilton Ooh. to the bucket. Force those turnovers and then being able to execute off is a great finish by Hamilton. He's shooting over 50% from the floor in the last seven games. Clark makes a move, gets to the bucket. Seven points for the senior Clark. Albany reestablishing a five-point lead. Back to three as Hamilton goes up for six points. Amari Williams with the right hand was blocked. Eagles get it back. Rishwain steps into a triple. This is a bit of an odd lineup for Boston College with Thornton out with two fouls right now. Felder out with two fouls. Long ball. Healy to match. Cameron Healy with 11 points already. Come in, you realize they're coached well, work hard. Heath to the bucket, got the floater. Their second chance points for BC. Heath guarded by Cam Healy, got a pass Mitchell. And it's turned over to Ahmad Clark. Just the third turnover for BC, but Clark converts. Nine points for Clark. Kick Derek Thornton wide, open. And off the mark for three. Derek Thornton 0 for 6 from the floor, 0 for 4 from behind the arc. Jay Heath with his first three-pointer. We've seen Derek Thornton go off for big halves after not scoring or being held down a little bit in the opening half of the game. Brent Hank avoids the steal. Rizzuto has his second three-pointer. Heath on the drive and a floater a little bit short. Got it back to Mitchell in the foul. This is the first time this half that the Eagles have been able to set up in that half-court offense. It's Jay Heath, Heath for three. Eight points for Heath. Up 41-34. Derek Thornton long two-pointer good. Healy, who, who started lighting the world on fire from three-point land, is now only three of 12 from behind the arc today. He has been on 11 points for a while. And Rishwain connects from three. DePaul, where he came out and had five threes, his career high just as a freshman, but huge shot for him. 11-0 run for BC ends here.
as Healy finally gets on the board. 15 turnovers a game for the Eagles. Right now they only have four going in to the end of the second half. On that last sequence, Hamilton, three-pointer good. In minus 64 in the first 12 minutes of second halves over the course of the last seven games. Today they were plus 16. Hamilton from Mitchell. Dale spinning away from Jared Hamilton. Seven to shoot, you all, but he Clark nearly lost it and then did on an aggressive play by Mitchell and Jarius <laughs> Hamilton with the finish. I don't think he was expecting the table to slide. <laughs> Jay Heath got blocked from behind. Malachi D'Souza with a clean block from behind. Four to shoot for Jay Heath. Got rid of it. Mitchell ahead of the timer. <laughs> Kept it alive. Clark almost lost it into Mitchell. He did not foul, but Clark has the putback. First points of the second half for Amont Clark. Eagles outscoring you Albany 28-11 in this second half. Put back by D'Souza goes. Malachi D'Souza with his first points of the game. That to 16 so far tonight. Eagles have outscored you Albany by 20 in this second half. Make it 18 now as Malachi D'Souza. Clark trying to find on the extra pass. Inside, pass. Mitchell wide open. Can compete in the America East with Vermont. It's a very good basketball team. But they gotta get healthy. Today's been a start to that. Heron out there now, tried to hand off to Mitchell. Gave it right to Adam Luca. Out in front, D'Souza. D'Souza, another one of those guys trying to get back healthy. His second game back from injury. Their home victory as Thornton throws it away. And after the Eagles had not turned the ball over the entire second half. Two minutes remaining here in Chestnut Hill. Eagles looking for a sixth victory of the season. Somebody's open with a man down. It's Heron. First points for Chris Heron, the sophomore. Eagles outscore you Albany 42 to 20 in the second half. And Boston College is 72 to 51 win.